Hello, Taurus. What's good, everyone? This is your weekly reading. All right, so if you're a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Taurus, it's for you. I'm gonna take a look at the energy, the 7th through the 13th of November, 2019. It's general. So if you need something a little more personal, I have included my website link below where you can go book your private reading. Instagram is there as well. Give it a thumbs up if this one hits home for you. Thank you for all your support. If not, take a look at your uh, rising sign, your moon sign, maybe your Venus. All right. Sometimes mom here says bad words. If it offends you, just Sesame Street for tarot, as I always say. But please stay. Hang out. Let's get some messages for you guys and see what the main energy is. Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. The 7th through the 13th, 2019. I always pre-shuffle, but I like to get that energy moving. So we are set to go. I'll adjust the camera after I get everything laid out. Let's see what's going on. All right, coming in right now, what's the energy? Dun, 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 death has arrived. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus. What's the challenge or influence to that death card? It's the nine of cups in reverse. What's on your mind is temperance. Major for Sagittarius. What happened in the recent past, Taurus? The page of wands. All right, what's the situation? Why is all this happening? The Four of Swords, a lot of healing and recovery after some sort of ending, it looks like, but we're gonna keep going. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Strength card, sign of Leo. How do you see yourself right now, Taurus? The Star, more healing, Aquarian energy. What's going on in your environment? The Empress, maybe it's a Libran or a Taurus. All right, what's going on in your emotions? I mean, this could obviously be you guys, your energy, because that's you, Major Arcana. The Nine of Wands, persevering, cautious. And then what is the outcome? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse, typically Gemini energy for me, but it's more the energy of just putting an end to drama. It's pulling back. It's not being so impulsive, kind of not doing much, right? Bottom of the deck, we do have Justice, sign of Libra. So a lot of Libra in energy. I've got some Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo. Take your pick, Taurus, as I vape. I know, it's bad for me. I'm sure somebody will tell me how horrible it is for me, but oh well. All right, so for some of you, this is a marriage. Maybe you ended a marriage, okay, with the Justice card. That can be contracts within marriage. But it's also balance. I'm seeing a lot of healing, a lot of balance. Again, typically my readings are love, but it's just whomever you have on your mind. For some of you, it could be a job situation or a family situation. This is just the energy, okay? This is all happening this week due to the Four of Swords. Recovery, recuperating, taking a minute. The Four of Swords can be just complete withdrawal from somebody or taking a break from somebody, okay? I do feel a lot of healing going on in this in this reading. All right, let's see what's up. We're going to clarify so mom here can uncover the energy and see what you can expect. External to you with the Empress, I mean, it certainly could be a mother, something like that. Again, some of you, that is you, Taurus energy. Um, a lot of you guys may have been married to this person, right? Or you have children with them. But the Empress is beautiful. I mean, she does embody nurturance and self-love and self-care, beauty and growth, you know, newness. So it's nice. All right, let's see though. Let's see what happens. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, we want to take a look at the 7th through the 13th, what you can expect. Main energy surrounding Taurus. All right, overall energy, we do have justice. Why is justice the overall energy? What is it? Woo, got the strength card again. Major Arcana for Leo. I think a lot of you um, are, you know, healing, getting some sort of balance here with justice. It's karma. It's making a decision here to hold back, uh, requiring a lot of confidence and a lot of strength to, again, overcome some sort of obstacle. Uh, what's the strength card here, though? Why is this here? 
the Two of Swords. See, blocking. A lot of Libra and energy with that Two of Swords. Blocking, ignoring, holding back, taming in order to regain balance. For some of you that are involved with some sort of legality or divorce or court or something like that, the overall energy for the week is you really holding back and maybe not communicating or it's kind of like taming your temper, right? Requiring a lot of strength here and you're just going to ignore, okay? With the Two of Swords. Twos are about partnerships and decisions, but with that Two of Swords, I'm getting this is more the energy of just ignoring somebody and not really acting on maybe what you want to say or communicate. This is a lot of holding back. Because coming in right now, Taurus, we have the Death card, Scorpionic energy. Why is Death here coming in? The Knight of Swords. More Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I think that you're putting an end. You may have ended with an, an air sign, but also I'm getting, again, the sense coming in right now is Taurus putting an end to any sort of drama. The Knight of Swords, is vi it's the fastest moving energy in the deck. It can be quite erratic. It can be um, quick, not really always thinking before you communicate or you rush in. It could be some drama or arguments. But we have an ending and a transformation, big, big changes, letting the old die. And I'm asking, well, what's Taurus ending? It's some sort of drama, I think, or arguments. And you're doing that by really taming yourself and holding back. Because I think that you guys were just drained. You've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. This, that's why, you know, this is happening right now. Um, why is this Nine of Cups in reverse? The Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries energy. <laughs> just taking action, right? I think a lot of you guys have lost the passion. Somebody's left you drained. You're not feeling the oomph, right? You don't feel like moving forward or taking some sort of action with this energy. Because in the recent past, you have the Page of Wands. You could have been dealing with somebody that was younger. I have a, a Queen of Wands and a Page of Wands. What or who is this Page of Wands? This is some sort of communication manifestation. The Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces energy, very healing again, but her cup is closed in this deck. You're in the upright. So there's some sort of healing, very psychic, intuitive energy. Some of you may have been communicating with a water sign as well. Um, something new, right? After letting something else die in the drama. Why is this queen of cups in the past? Yeah, see the three of cups. More water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Some of you found out that somebody may have been communicating or dating with the Queen of Cups. I mean, you guys are the Queen of Pentacles, so who's this Queen of Cups? You know, and I've got this Three of Cups right on top, right? And so you guys are like, nope, this is not what I want. Nine of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands. I'm not feeling it. I'm putting an end. I'm not doing the drama. That's for some of you. Because on your mind is temperance, just healing. You know, temperance for me is very much calm, cool, and collected. I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm going to be patient. Why is temperance here? Yeah, and just miss the opportunity, the four of cups in reverse. Thanks, but no thanks, right? So on your mind is just healing and tempering those emotions. I'm getting that all throughout the reading that Taurus is very balanced. Something happened here that wasn't great. But you've, instead of making a big fuss, you've just decided to end it and pursue other things also with that Knight of Swords and let this opportunity pass you by and just kind of chill with temperance. Because the situation, why is all this happening? I think that you've pulled away from somebody. Why is the Four of Swords, or they did this to you, of course, Four of Swords. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. Could have been somebody that was very, um, could have been an Aries, but also the Emperor in reverse is somebody that's very stubborn or it's their way or the highway. You know, there's also just like this person maybe had no boundaries because the Emperor in reverse is lacking boundaries and stability and order. And it's just chaos, right? Because we know in the recent past, there was something else going on here, I feel like. So the reason for all this this week, Taurus, is you guys have just decided, I think, to withdraw and pull away from this Emperor in reverse type energy and end it. Now coming in into the near future, you'll experience strength. So sign of Leo, what's strength about? Why will Taurus experience the strength card? The page of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're going to hold back. You're not going to communicate with this person. Page of wands in reverse. Page of wands in reverse is a lack of action, right? It's a lack of passion. It's just not doing anything and not communicating, holding back. A lot of Leo energy there. Why is this page of wands coming into the near future? Yep. The Eight of Wands having to do with communication, holding back. 
Also, eight is change. So because you're pulling away, you're taking a minute, uh, you know, around something that you, somebody or something where there's just no stability or order, what you'll find is coming in, you're going to tame yourself from communicating with this person. Again, I'm getting the energy of you just don't want to do or say or act upon anything um, other than calm, cool, and collected is what it looks like. And just moving forward and going through some changes and, and manifesting with the Eight of Wands. You see yourself as healing right now. You know, you're remaining hopeful. What's the star? Why is Taurus the star card right now? Yeah, the Page of Cups. Page of Cups can be new love. It's Pisces energy, but the Page of Cups is also pursuing somebody. He's a dreamer, right? He's a poet. He's a writer. He's young and fresh. It's the beginning. It's like a child. But, you know, this is all around being hopeful. Very positive energy is how you see yourself right now. I think going towards something new, probably. Uh, one more card on the Page of Cups. Pursuing something. Yeah, and just moving forward with the Chariot energy. Cancerian energy. All right, healing, moving forward, taking the opportunities, whether this is a job or a new relationship or just dating in general, just going for it. So, because in your environment, what the universe is bringing that you don't see is the empress. This is this is you, Taurus, could be a Libra, but also, you know, nurturance, self-care, self-love, you know, abundant and new and creative. What's this empress energy? Why is this here for Taurus? Seven of Cups, a lot of options are going to open up for you. That's what you don't see happening. I think a lot of you are already starting to kind of feel it. But with the Empress and the Seven of Cups, it's a beautiful world that's opening up for you, right? After something else you've decided coming in right now, you just don't want any part of. You're pulling away from it. Now, in your emotions, you're a little bit uh, worried, probably, with the Nine of Wands. You know, you're tired. I think it's more exhaustion dealing with something, and so you need some time out. Why is this nine of wands in Taurus's emotions? The world in reverse. Somebody may have left you with some, um, like a feeling of like a lack of closure, right? With the world in reverse. So you're a little bit cautious. You're going to be tired. You're going to be leery. There's some sort of goal that wasn't reached. Um, but you know, we don't always get closure. And I think you guys are okay with it, but it is still in your emotions. Why is this, whoops, why is the world in reverse here? Too many to take. Why is this world in reverse for Taurus's emotions? That's your energy. Because of the magician. Yeah, right. Manifesting Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody may have been wearing like a false mask and it left you with like this sense of a lack of closure, right? Regardless, you know, with the magician, we have the emperor in reverse here. Somebody may have been a little bit of a trickster, right? That left you kind of like, huh? What? What just happened? You know, that's what I'm getting. But you guys are onto new and creating new things. But I'm just saying, yeah, because something came out with the moon in reverse, Pisces energy, Cancerian energy. Their mask came off <laughs> is what I'm getting. Now the outcome, Taurus, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. What's this about? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse for Taurus's outcome? The 7th through the 13th, what is it? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Putting an end to drama, putting an end to arguments, pulling back on what? King of Pentacles in reverse. People that are self-serving, selfish, that aren't giving you stability, commitment, whether that's in a job or a relationship, that King of Pentacles in reverse is lacking stability and value, right? It's very, very self-serving energy, and you're just not going to act on that energy. You're not having anything to do with it. Pulling back. Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse? The Ten of Cups. To get your own happiness back. Happily ever after. Again, some of you, because the King of Pentacles can certainly be a husband. Yes, that can be you. Right, but also, you know, this could have been a marriage, of course, with the Ten of Cups. But this is just about you getting your happiness back. And remember, to get this Ten of Cups, you're doing this. You're pulling away from anything that is just chaotic. Why is the Ten of Cups here in the outcome? The Wheel of Fortune and the universe has your back, Taurus. The universe has your back. The uh, Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. It's things that are going are gonna to start moving in your favor. And it's because you're able to realize something just wasn't good for you, obviously. You know, the Emperor in Reverse could even be like an asshole boss, you know. 
but it's just very, very kind of about their way, right? And when they don't get it, they can be a real asshole. Um, so just take this one how it resonates. But the bottom line is you're going to end up very, very happy and, you know, things moving in your favor. And it's all because, as I'm dropping cards, you're able to see this for what it is. And you have a lot of um, options coming in good things too with that wheel of fortune i want to see what these options are so why is the seven of cups and taurus's environment coming in what they don't see why is the seven of cups coming in for taurus yep the knight of pentacles it's an offer and it's slow and steady i like the knight of pentacles it could be a virgo but the knight of pentacles also is about building towards a commitment or something stable if it is job money it's slow, but it's like this night always reaches their goal. You could have another earth sign coming in, right? That wants to build towards commitment. It's going to open up your options. For some of you that are looking for a job or a promotion, that's what this is too. It's good shit coming in. And the, the wheel is on your side here with the wheel of fortune. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. It looks hella good. I hope you liked it. I'm loving you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.